Biobanking is important because our new technologies allow us to find much better explanations for different diseases. And then we find that many diseases that look the same have very different backgrounds. And so to be able to develop drugs that are specific to the specific biological causes, and so better drugs with less side effects, will need to look at large amounts of people to define the, the lower amounts of people that have actually the same disease. And that is what biobanks will allow us to do. And so that actually gets back to the question of can we define beforehand what we want to study in biobanks? The answer is really no, because this is not you have liver disease or kidney disease or brain disease. It's different biology that gives different diseases. And so you have to enter this with an open question.